Alright, now we're recording. We're gonna record some word bubble tutorials. Making some word bubbles in Photoshop with the paths rather than painting it like some kind of crazy person. You don't just want to draw these, you want them to look nice. So as you can see, I made me a word bubble over here already. It's made out of paths. If you go over to the, that selection tool, it's the other black arrow. You can get to it by pressing A. Um, click on this, you can see the, the control points, the handles, and the anchor points. I think I'm getting those terms right. As you can see, that bubble is made out of pads, and when we fill everything at the end, it'll make a nice word bubble. Real professional-like. So let's go over, make this bubble an oval. Use the ellipse tool. Get it pretty close to the shape of your text. Because if you make it something doofy, it's going to just cause you more trouble. So then we're going to select the pen tool, but hold down and go to the convert point tool. Then when you click on the pass, you can change the shape of your oval. Because you don't want any boring regular oval. Let's go back to that other arrow real quick and move some of these. We don't want a whole lot of space, but you don't want too little. Back to the control point tool. So you don't want your bubble to look boring. And be sure that you're pulling in a clockwise fashion. Because if you pull uh, counterclockwise, then it just looks awful. And that's no word bubble. So, I think that looks pretty good. That'll be my word bubble. We're going to use the actual pen tool now. And you want to make your word balloon tail so it points toward the guy who's talking his mouth. So click once, just click inside your bubble. And then click and hold in between the, the guy's mouth and the bubble. Because if you don't click and hold, you just get a bunch of straight lines and it looks terrible. Let me start over. Click once, click and hold, and drag to get that curve. Then you're going to want to hold Alt and click on this point again to turn it into the, the balloon tail, the actually pointy part. If you don't, it'll just end up curvy and funny looking. So click and hold again and pull to get the other side of that tail. Then click on the first point to close it off. Then you can go back to the path selection tool, the black arrow. If you want to move that tail to somewhere else, you can still move it around. So I merged these two. If you want to merge them, select the bubble and the tail. Go up here to your option, your combination options, and select the first one, which is Unite, Add Shape, Add to Shape, and then click Combine. That'll make it one balloon that you can move around wherever. Now we're going to select both of these balloons with the path selection tool, the black arrow, and then right click and make that into a selection. I have radius at zero, anti-alias selected, and new selection. Click OK. Use your paint bucket and fill them with black. Then we go up to select, modify, contract, and I'm going to do 10 pixels. And then fill it with white. And there you have your word balloons. Get rid of that selection. And there's your word balloons. Made out of paths. Not too shabby, eh? And if you don't want your word balloons to go outside the panel border, you can just select it and delete. And it looks like you did that on purpose in the first place.